So we're 20 days out. We got a hard ass workout with Trevor. We're gonna lift some weights. And then rest for sparring tomorrow. Two today. And then, uh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty, that's for sure. You know what? I was thinking this morning, I say, I know you're in shape, but I tell you it's a down week and you complain. Yeah. Like last week. you know you're in shape. Like, I need more. Last week? That's like, that's like, a, that's like an eat a holic, like me. Like, last I'm like, I'll eat a big old lasagna, and then I'm like, no, I need more. I need more. I need more. All right, Pinky. All right, you ready, Justin? I'll get serious, serious for you. Sorry. Hey, we are in. Let's so, uh, this is the last two weeks of training. It's three weeks till the fight, so this is Monday of the third week. Third week and second week are the most important in my mindset, how I train athletes. Uh, today's Monday and next week's Mondays are the hardest workouts of the, the camp. Meaning that they're not super long, it's not like an endurance based type of workout, but it includes everything you know, from fast twists uh, to, to explosion to endurance. They're using their feet, they're using forward, they're using their hands, we're using speed in their hands, power in their hands, so we're mixing it all up together and trying to get as real as we can to like fight feel. So today was short, but super hard. And uh, man, to push through it, uh, very nice. Uh, the nice thing is, is uh, I feel like we're ahead this camp. We are, we're always like getting in shape in the camp to be in shape. This, this, uh, this training camp has been different. He was in such good uh, shape starting off that we really hit some uh, some new peaks. So man, I'm really looking forward to seeing him perform, and today showed it. As we get closer to the fight, you know, do nerves kick in? Not really. I, I actually feel no nerves of the fight right now. I feel real and I feel motivated. I know there's a fight coming, so there's that, that there's that uh, drive, but. We haven't landed, we haven't seen uh, uh, what we're fighting, we haven't seen the opponent yet, so no, it's not so much uh, uh, real, especially from my standpoint, from a coach's standpoint. It's more of just, you know, stay focused, stay driven, and, and make sure that we're doing everything that we can do in this fight for ourselves. And as we get, you know, to London, it's gonna get a lot more real, and that's where I'll start to feel the nerves. Uh, once I see the opponent, I'll start to feel the nerves. That's when it becomes real. But right now, it's just dialed in focus. I feel no nerves, I feel excitement. And uh, man, I'm excited to see him perform. Hey, run the fast you can, let's go. Come on, come on. Come on, all the way to the middle. Good work, Jesse, keep it, keep it. Let's go, keep it. End time. Great job. Great job. Yep. Yep. Great job. Yep. Love it. Love it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Wonderful job. Come on. Keep it. Keep it. Yes. Keep that. That's wonderful. I love it. Five seconds. Keep it, Justin. Keep it. Keep it. And time. Wonderful job. Holy smokes, take that guy to the fish house. That's a good lunch in muscles. Fuck this. Hey, hey, hey. Jeez. That was pretty damn good. That guy is pretty fucking good. Oh, it's embarrassing!
I'm done working out, so go home, rest. I got sparring tomorrow, probably four rounds, hopefully five rounds. So we'll just concentrate on rest, nutrition. I would like to say I'm gonna get in my ice tub, but that is highly unlikely. But maybe, small possibility. Wait for Beth to show up and feed me. And then Warzone dub, son. Definitely, it's like a Friday and Saturday all combined into a great, amazing Tuesday. Day to make sure everything we're working on is clicking. Work on confidence, cardio, obviously. It's all cardio, so. So it's uh, Wednesday. Uh, today's one of those days that uh, you know he do, really don't like me inside, but he does like me. Like, uh, but it's hard. It's that hard. It's one of those things you see the workout, you're like, bam. And so we're in the mid part of peak week. Today was a lot of explosion, a lot of power punching, uh, fast combos here and there in between, just kind of raise the heart rate, and then back to power, back to power. So workload, even though it was a shorter workout, was was workload was really really high. Uh, we go into wrestling tomorrow. Wrestling's gonna be hard. Friday's gonna be hard. Saturday's gonna be recoup a little bit. And then next week we're in one more peak week, which that's a little bit more, uh, less power, more hot heart rate, but still very, very, very hard. Let's go, right there. So that was better. That was better, not straight back. I think it was perfect. Yep. Short, short go. Half the hood. My feelings is uh, excitement. Uh, man, I'm just, we're on right now. 
Like, uh, I'm, I'm comfortable, I'm happy. Yeah. Like, you're never comfortable in the fight world, but yeah. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with uh, where I, both of my athletes' shape is, uh, their injury status, like, their push, their focus. Like, it's when, when everybody is dialed in, you can really feel it. And that energy is what I feel right now. You know, again, we still don't leave until next Wednesday. But man, I feel I feel excited. I feel I feel pumped. I'm pumped to get on the plane. Usually, sometimes when you go on a trip, you're like, eh, man, it's a, you know, another fight trip. This fight trip feels different for me. It feels there's a ton of excitement, and uh, I I love our competition. I love the physique of fight. Like that is such a that's a that's a fight that gets you up, and it's gotten me up. And I'm sure I'll feel a little bit more nerves as we get there. But man, I feel great. I feel excited. I feel confident. Where we're at is just you know. I wouldn't change a thing. And my recovery is good. Um, you know, coaches are telling me that the pace I'm keeping is what's up. What's up, Jeff? As high or better than um, anybody else he's got on that machine, the rower. So it's all confidence. You know, once we we're leading up to this fight, the day of the fight, you really got to convince yourself and believe that you believe that you deserve, you know, success. Um, not so much more than the other guy, but just in general. You know, gotta believe in the hard work. Fuck you. Oh, go home, shower. I'm gonna get some sushi at night, cause why not? I love me some sushi. Oh shit! Another day, another dollar. Come on, Archie. Fucking Thursday wrestling. Same shit I've been doing since I was fucking tiny ass kid. Alright, good part. One guy's got a body lock. Behind the guy, lock front blades. There we go. Short lap goes. This guy's trying to return it. I want you guys, defensive guys, are making a big effort here. Lock the hips, prevent him from. Right, so just if you can, you can try to lock his lock in. Right, and you're just trying to maintain position, stay on your feet. You hit the scissor trips, try to, you know, try to step off of it. Okay, but you're right here, just maintain a good position, try to block his two sides. Grew up in Colorado. Uh, I was a three-time high school state champ here in here in the state, and then uh, went up to Boise State. wrestled wrestled up there. Was a four-time NCAA qualifier uh, and a one-time Division One national champ my senior year. And then right after that, I got into coaching. Was the head coach at Northern Colorado for uh, five years. There for seven total, and that's obviously where I where I met Justin. Um, and then uh, yeah, kind of things have progressed, and here we are today. Uh, today I'm hired on to be a camera, all-time camera guy. Do a lot of Boca. Do a lot of FOC, Boca. Uh, trying to really make that pop tonight. Lighting. Good. Good charisma in here. But I met Justin at my restaurant. Um, one of the girls who works there did a film for you, right? Uh -huh. And well, she's, um, just, she's a neighbor's, neighbor's cousin. Yeah. And he was looking for a nutritional chef, and I was slammed. I remember being like so busy. I was like, I'm, I was like, whatever. I was like, I'll refer somebody to him. And something, like literally something in me was like, just do this, do this. And then when I started uh, working for Justin, it was like using all of my, because I'm fascinated in biochemistry, and like our food has, our food system has been weaponized. Like the incentives and the money behind like dumbing food down to dumb people down is crazy. 
and I feel like athletes' bodies bodies are their business. Like everybody says, but specifically athletes, because it's like you they get you guys go through so much, and if you don't have proper fuel, not just proper fuel, but like combinations of food and clean ingredients, like you're kind of robbing yourself. And so it's like I realized if I could extend somebody's career and then extend somebody's recovery so that they can do what they love longer, like that's. That's the joy, that's the joy. So it's like basically like summing it all up, like using my expertise in food, in biochemistry, in holistic health, in nootropics, in herbs, and all of that adaptogens, and put that into food to support people who need it the most. Like that is, like I just feel like I'm needed the most with athletes. So I feel like the most value. Our, we got one more sparring session after this. Uh, we used to spar next week all week, but I pulled that back. I just don't want to go into the fight cloudy. But today is like really our hardest sparring day throughout all training camp. And uh, yeah, I'm nervous. My, my biggest nerves that I have with the sparring is injuries. If we start getting close to the fight, I'm like, I'm always like, knock on wood before I drive here. I'm always like, shit. You know, you have that thought. Like, oh, I hope we don't get injured. I'm like, don't think that. Knock on wood. So, because they're going hard and they're, 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 there's a ton of intent when they're, when they're sparring on, on this day. So that's what I fear. But I also I feel bad for the opponents because the opponents that we go with, I mean, they're in full peak. And uh, so I kind of feel bad about each opponent that they go with because uh, their mentality and their, 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 their sparring is real. Uh, even though they're not going 100%, it's real here, so they get to feel the pressure, they get to feel that, and so I feel a little bit bad for their partners in that sense. And I'll tell you, uh, I spoke a couple times ago about the, you know, what do I feel? Do I feel the fear of a fight or do I feel the nerves? I usually don't, but the last two nights I've had issues sleeping, it's funny, I can't, can't get my mind off the fight. It's not, it's not fear of the fight, it's just, man, game planning and, and oh, what if this, and how would we do this? So that's kind of unique for me. I usually don't have that until we get there, so. It's been trouble sleeping. I'm excited for the fight. Uh, and, uh, I'm anticipating what we're gonna do and how we're gonna adjust uh, in the round. So, man, there's a lot of feelings right now. So it's, it's, it's good. I love the feel of these I'm living, but yeah, tons of feelings. Even try. Eight, nine, ten. God damn. Hey, Luke, what's up with this floor? It's called a hustle. For you, Luke. It's called a hustle. I want to go in there and do what I do best, and that's win. I'm the most exciting fighter that stepped in that cage. Yeah. I'm going to blow the roof off of the O2 arena. Justin Gaethje is an absolute savage. He just destroys everything in his path. But for Z, he's for real. This guy is down. Yeah, Every time he's out there, he's trying Who's to get it. it. That's going to be incredible. Yeah. There is no better crowd than the crowd in London. Let's go. Here's the deal. Justin's so had his old shoes for a while. Watch how he puts the left leg inside. The other one had a blown out toe because that. You ever seen his toe? It blew yeah. everything out. But he had these like blue. White and red, who wow. said it was American. America. That shit is not American. That shit again. was like French, British Columbia, that, British that something. Wasn't, wasn't American. So, anyways, I thanks, coach. I got him some good shit. Now you can and fucking really look. Hopefully, you can see. Yeah. Anyways, I, 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 had, I had to give him some new shoes. Jeff Neal, of course, was game. Hey, you know what I mean? Job security, you know what I mean? Water boy moving up. It's over. I'm 
The buddy makes the kitchen go. That was the easiest fucking thing I've ever seen.